let's see here I've made I like to make like really bright ones like these type and then I like um, like the darker like fall colors too you can like make them to go with your outfits since they're like your own I guess I made this one with an L in the middle because my name's Laura <laughs> Um, and here's another one as well. And a lot of these have like the same petals, but they're just like mixed with different ones. So that's kind of the fun part about it. Um, here's some made out of fabric. And these are really fun as well. Um, yeah, and then here's another type. It's kind of like a rose one made out of fabric. So my name is Laura Boozer. Um, I'm 18. And I really got into making hair flowers this summer. I wear them all the time and then this summer I learned how to make them. So now I make them all the time and wear them all the time and I like to give them to people and my friend Hannah um, is the one who taught me how to make them. We go out and buy like these bouquets of flowers like really cheap at the dollar store and then we made a bunch of matching hair flowers. Um, and then one time we got together and made a bunch of them out of fabric, just a bunch of scrap fabric and then um, we also make them just on our own time. They are super easy, super easy. I generally like one flower, because sometimes you see like the really big fake flowers, and that will go forever. Like I used one of those, and I used, I made so many hair flowers just out of that one flower, and those are like $3 at Walmart. And then like to go to the dollar store, like this, all of these, because they're a dollar piece, they all cost um, $3 total, and all of, all of the flowers have more than one petal. So with that being said, I mean, you could buy one bouquet of flowers and if they're different colors or whatever, you can just combine the different petals and it's super, super cheap. And then um, if you want like jewels and hair barrettes and then that's kind of an old personal thing. But you can always use bobby pins, which makes it even more or less expensive. Uh, the One of the coolest parts about um, me starting to make these hair flowers was my friend Hannah taught me how to make them so I made a bunch of them and I had no idea what I was going to do with all of these hair flowers and this summer she was taking a trip to Guatemala so I decided I would give her these hair flowers and she took them to Guatemala with her and gave them out to the children in Guatemala and she took pictures and it was just really incredible even though I wasn't there it was still a really great experience that topped off my summer anything arts and crafts is what I love to do and this is so cool because you can make them like out of the petals or out of fabric and so the possibilities are endless which is really fun.